Hi there guys, it's Justin here again. Right, so as the title suggests, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to set any game to a permanent state of high priority on your CPU scheduler. The reason you want to do this at the end of the day is to alleviate stuttering or micro stuttering, uh, FPS spikes, and in, in some cases, not all, uh, increase FPS. Uh, it's not going to work for every game. It's generally uh, games that are more CPU demanding, such as Horizon Zero Dawn or Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, that will see the most benefits. Uh, so uh, let me just boot up a game here quickly just to show you what I'm talking about. So boot up into Control, press Control, Alt, Delete, go into Task Manager, and then go to Details. Right click, set priority, you see it's on normal over here. So now you can manually set it to high. Only problem with this is as soon as you go out of the game and then you boot up the game again, it's going to be set to normal. So you're going to have to repeat this laborious process over and over and over again. So the purposes of this video today is how to set the priority to high and have it stick at high forever more. <laughs> right, so let's get to it. Let me just close this off here. Right, so there are programs that you can use to uh, permanently set a priority class, such as Process Lasso. In fact, I used to use Process Lasso, but the problem with using a program is that you need this program to be running in the background for the priority to be set to whatever you select it to be. So um, you're going to be it's going to be consuming uh, CPU cycles as well as um, using vital system resources such as RAM. So it's kind of counterintuitive. Right, so I came across a very nice solution, and I must give props where it's due. I'm going to put a link to his, his page uh, in the description, but he's got a video. This is where I learned the trick. So basically, it is as follows. I'm going to put a link to this in the description as well. So you just copy this link over here, and then you press... Windows key and R, type in regedit, and then just highlight this, press paste, and then press enter. Right, so all my games over here, they set to, uh, I've already set them to high. I have not done it with control just yet. So we want the XE executable file or, or, or name so what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot into control again, control alt delete, go to task manager, details. We see the executable for this game is control underscore dx11.exe or exe. So anyways, I got that. Just close this off again quickly. And so what you're going to do with uh, now that you got that exe. Um, in your head or you got that XE executable you're gonna go image file execution options you're gonna go new key and then you're gonna name it to that executable so in this case it's control underscore dx11 dot exe okay and then click on the the key that you just created and then new key again or sub key and this one you're going to call perf options all right and in perf once you're in perf options go over here new d word we're going to call this cpu priority class all right so i want you to give this a value of three Okay, you're done. Right, so now what's going to happen is every time you boot up into the game, you're going to be in high priority. Happy days. Just to show you. There we go, Bob's your uncle. So just to show you, it wasn't a once-off or one-trick pony. I'll close this again. And I'll boot up into it again, see, showing you that the priority is now set to permanent. Here we go. High priority is now permanent. 
Right, guys, I hope that this video has helped. Um, if you've enjoyed the content, uh, leave it a like. If you've got any questions, uh, hit me up in the comment section. And please, guys, I've only got 22 subscribers. So if you like my type of content, if it's helping you out, please consider subscribing because I'm only 900 odd short of being monetized on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. Anyways, guys, have a good day. Cheers.